Welcome to the hydrogenation of benzene to cyclohexane series for Aspen Plus version 10. This video series serves as an introduction to Aspen Plus for chemical engineering students studying material and energy balances. In this video, we will introduce distillation columns. In Aspen Plus, there are several distillation models that can be used depending on the process, method, and properties. For our example, we will work with a DSTWU column which can perform base calculations and provide simple input. From our DSTWU column, we will observe the molar and mass flows of our input and output streams along with a reflux ratio that will be used in the next video. To begin, first create a blank simulation. For components in this simulation, we will use methanol, water, and phenol. So, in the individual component ID cells, add methanol, water, and phenol. Next, click the Simulation tab to switch to the main flow sheet. In the Model palette, switch to the Columns tab. Select the DSTWU column and drag it onto the main flow sheet. Then, click the material icon in the model palette and create inlet and outlet streams for the distillation column. Now, we will name the newly added streams. Cancel insert mode and name the S1 stream to 1 feed. Next, name the S2 stream to 2 top and the S3 stream to 3 bottom. Next, we need to specify the method and parameters for our simulation. Switch to the Properties tab. Then, in the Navigation pane, select the Methods folder. Specify the method name to NRTLRK. Then, in the Binary Interactions folder, that's within the Parameters folder, select NRTL1. The data displayed are the interaction parameters between the components of water, phenol, and methanol. Now, it is time to specify our feed stream and distillation column. Switch to the main flow sheet. Then, click on the one feed stream to access its specifications menu. Specify the temperature of the stream to be 65 degrees Celsius, pressure to 1.7 bar, total flow basis to mass, and total flow rate to 4,530 kilograms per hour. Then specify the composition to mass frac with a value of 0.6 for methanol, 0.39 for water, and 0.01 for phenol. Now, in the Blocks folder of the Navigation pane, select the B1 folder. In the Column Specifications box, specify the number of stages to be 10. In the Pressure box, specify the Condenser value to be 1.1 bar and Reboiler value to 1.7 bar. Then, in the Key Component Recoveries box, specify the Light Key to be Methanol with a recovery value of 0.99. After, specify the heavy key to be water with a recovery value of 0.01. Then, switch to the Calculation Options tab. Select the option to generate a table of reflux ratios versus number of theoretical stages. Then, in the Setup folder of the Navigation pane, select Report Options. Switch to the Stream tab and select Mass for both Flow Basis and Fraction Basis to appear in our results. Now, run the simulation. After we've run the simulation, check the results of the B1 block. The actual reflux ratio is 1.875, and the minimum reflux ratio for our simulation is 0.636, which we will use in the next video. Next, switch to the Reflux Ratio Profile tab. The reflux ratio for each theoretical stage will be displayed. After, select Stream Results in the B1 block. 
Here we can analyze the mole and mass flows of our distillation column for the feed, top, and bottom streams. Finally, save the model as a compound file. For the file name, name it DSTWU and save the file as a .apw file. Then click Save. This concludes the seventh video of the hydrogenation of benzene acyclohexane series for Aspen Plus version 10. Please continue to video 8, which will introduce the Radfrac distillation column.